Hey guys, Big Bad Red here. So have you ever imagined a sports camera coming in for just twenty dollars? Well, here it is. It's a little hard to believe, but yes, this comes for just about twenty dollars or twelve hundred INR. What would you expect from the performance of such a camera? Well, let's find out. So here is a sports camera looking strikingly similar to an SJ4000 sports camera that obviously costs way more than this. Let's dive into the design and build of the camera, shall we? So here's about the design. It's made up of plastic and feels extremely light, almost till the extent where it feels hollow from the inside. Right on the front, we have a power slash mode button next to the so-called wide-angle camera lens. On the top, we find the LED indicator next to the shutter slash OK button that helps in selecting an option from the menu or recording and clicking pictures. Towards the side, we find an up and down button which can mainly be used for zooming and navigating through the menu along with the speaker on the side. On the other side, we see a micro HDMI port, a micro USB port for charging and a micro SD card expansion slot. Huh, too many micros there. At the back, we have a 2-inch display. While many sports camera come without a display, I wish this didn't come with it either. The screen just gives the image of the camera being really promising and premium, and it really made my expectations rise. But is the quality really like so? Well, the display quality is really bad. One can hardly see what's going on in the picture. Is the same case while recording or taking pics. Recording and taking pics are easier than ever with the shutter button on top, but the camera quality is just not good at all the so called hd images and videos seem to be very bad and 110% not hd these images and videos might just be about 240p hardly any light enters the 5 megapixel sensor this leads to grainy and dull image while clicking indoors is just a nightmare clicking outside is still comparatively really good Another very frustrating thing about the camera is that after taking a picture the image comes out to be a little zoomed and does not cover everything that is shown on the screen. The lens is said to be a wide angle lens covering up to 140 degree of field of view but it's just not true. Also the fact that it says that the camera can record 1080p at 15 fps and 720p at 30 fps is just not true. It records everything but the bad quality is the only concern. It's definitely not 30 fps and it's definitely way above 15 fps too. So it lies somewhere in the middle. As I said earlier, it's not 1080p and neither is it 30 fps at 720p. However, it records to an extent where everything can be recognized and seen up to a decent extent. But hey, everything has a bright side too, right? And here it is. This camera comes with a lot of mounts. It comes with a legit waterproof mount that can really handle water and protect the camera at all times. The buttons given on this mount work very well and without any issues. Placing the camera inside the mount is just the same as placing any other sports camera in a waterproof mount. Included in the box is also a pole mount for the camera with an extremely nice grip and a tripod mount and also a mount which can be wrapped around the arm for something like a POV shot and also a few spare screws and parts. It was nice of these guys to throw in a USB cable with the entire pack too. Definitely worth mentioning is the fact that the mounts feel way better in terms of quality as compared to the camera. Yeah, true that. Also worth mentioning is that these mounts seem to be universal and hence can be used with any other sports camera. But don't take my word because the GoPro is just a little slimmer than this. I did drop the camera a few times from my shoulder's height and it's safe to say that this camera can take quite a beating. Even after multiple drops, the camera seems to be working as bad as ever. <laughs> so here's what you get for your $20. A USB to micro USB cable, a tripod mount, a waterproof mount, a few spare mounts, a pole mount, a few wrap arounds for the camera to go on your arm, and a sports camera with a not so good quality. If one goes into markets with just twenty dollars to purchase a sports camera or even the mounts, that guy would probably end up paying more than this entire package. So in a way, this is a bad deal, but a good deal altogether. But before summing up this entire review, here's the cliche line: For such a price tag, you can't really complain. Well, that seems to be true. Having a proper working sports camera with such a lot of mounts. It's kind of something really appreciable. The guys at Sportscam, yeah, that's actually the name of the company, did a good job at at least trying to make something at this price tag. B plus for that. 
all right so i'm out now guys drop a like on the video if you enjoyed and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys later